Hello people, JNM Polismata here. Today I will be showing you how to use Moonlight Vita and the compatible NVIDIA GPU to stream your PC games from your computer to your PlayStation Vita or Vita TV. So you'll need a compatible NVIDIA GPU, you can find the list or the documentation talking about that down below. And yeah, that's about it. I myself am going to use a Gigabyte GTX 1050 Ti. And yeah, without further ado, let's begin. So, first of all, you'll want to download Vita Moonlight, which will give you the VPK file. Uh, this is supposed to be used with uh, the latest Henkaku, so if you use the older, well, as of now, stable Henkaku isn't really compatible with it, but just transfer the VPK over. If you can't use that, use the uncompressed one, but really you should use the Henkaku beta at its point. It, I, it is actually more stable than the uh, release version. So I'm transferring it over FTP because my USB port is broken, even though Vita Shell now does indeed support uh, USB. So anyway, after you transfer the VPK file over, you will want to go to the NVIDIA GeForce Experience uh, panel. So just open uh, NVIDIA GeForce Experience. And you will want to go to Settings. Just enable uh, Click Shield and enable Game Stream. And that's about it. Now go to your PlayStation Vita. So now, what you want to do is go over to Molecular Shell or Vita Shell, depending on which you used, and install the VPK file. That shouldn't take too long. Once it installs, you can go back to the live area and just open it up. Once you open it up, you will see a couple of options. Connect to Settings and Quit. Uh, if you go down to settings, you'll see the resolution settings, frame rate, bit rate, and mapping settings. If you enter the connect to option, you'll be prompted to enter the IP of your machine. You can easily obtain the IP address of your machine by opening up a command prompt, which can be done uh, by just typing command prompt and just type ipconfig you'll get a list of IPs of addresses the one I'm connected to right now is the wireless LAN adapter and the IP that matters is the IPv4 address just take note of that and then you're going to write it to your PlayStation Vita well to Moonlight anyway So after you've entered the IP address to Moonlight, you will just wait for it to connect. Once uh, it actually connects, you should get a notification on your computer of NVIDIA GeForce Experience. So just wait for it to connect. There we go, connected to server, GPU, GTX 1050 Ti, go and pair. So you'll get this code and now you should get a notification. Uh, that asks you to enter the code. So, give me a second, there we go. Shield is requesting to connect. Just enter the four digit code and press connect. Now, you'll get a list of games. I believe it's, it's the same one at uh, the GeForce Experience launcher. So, I'm going to try out a couple of games. Please bear with me because, for one, I didn't really know what the mappings were. And for two, the trigger was actually mapped by default. Uh, I have no idea to what to. Maybe the 
back touchpad the issue with that in my case would be that my the ribbon cable that connects that to the motherboard is broken so I wouldn't be able to test it either way but you can indeed get custom mappings and it doesn't really take too much time uh, you can also map uh, corner, the corners of the touch screen to do certain things like I did it's not the best solution but hey it worked out and I didn't actually mess with the mapping files yet which I will indeed do at some point and in case you're wondering yes you do get sound through the PlayStation Vita and not through the computer as you see it's actually pretty smooth and I really enjoyed it in fact where well, while I was uh, setting it up I felt the need to go to the bathroom and well I'll just say that I played Star Wars Battlefront while taking a dump So one more thing that I really like this I really like this application for people that can use it because it acts as a steam link if you have uh, well first of all you can play this anywhere if you have a PlayStation Vita anywhere I mean you can technically make it uh, stream through the internet I believe but I if you don't want to do that uh, well you can go around your house and play on a more comfortable play place. Uh, another thing is that if you have a PlayStation TV, you can use that basically as a Steam Link uh, because you can just stream the game to another TV. Just plug the PlayStation TV to an HDMI TV or monitor, and you should be able to stream games through Moonlight, which is pretty cool. I got my PlayStation TV for 20, 30 euros, and yeah. As you see right there, I'm not shooting anything at all. And that's because, well, I was pressing R and then I realized that my star card really needed me to press the right trigger and I didn't actually have the right trigger to press. So I just quit Moonlight and restarted it so I could uh, remap, remap one of the corners as... Uh, uh, the right trigger. This is actually pretty darn smooth. It sometimes might lag a little bit, but it's pretty cool. I also tried out Doom, which has this small issue that is the use button wasn't was mapped to uh, the thumbstick uh, button, I believe, and there was no such button on the PlayStation Vita. But I believe you can remap that. I mean, it would be pretty stupid. I'm I imagine quite a few people might have controllers that don't support that and it somehow would be possible to remap it but don't really ask me for details I believe maybe key codes but I have I don't really have uh, an idea so connecting back you will see that I can resume the stream that was already the game it was already in progress so you can see it still is paused and now I can shoot now pardon me for my performance because I couldn't adjust my aim while shooting and another thing is that well I was looking at that through my tablet so it was kinda weird please don't kill me I am kinda decent with a mouse I just haven't played shooters with a thumbstick for ages really as you see it lagged a little bit there but that's rare and if you have a decent enough router I don't know it should work out even more so if you have a PlayStation TV since you'd be able to just uh, go and uh, connect both the computer and the PlayStation TV using an RG45 cable is that Gino RJ so an, ether an Ethernet cable you'd be able to just connect it through that so it could be better than wireless now you can also you can do pretty much any everything you can do with the controller especially if you map it properly as you see as I just switched to first person view and the games do look pretty good 
I'm playing at 720p, which is definitely more than enough for the PlayStation Vita, considering it features a 960 by 544 display, if I'm not wrong. So, yeah. One minor complaint that I do have is that the game had the sound kind of... It, it wasn't loud at all. In my opinion, it could be louder, but that could be my PlayStation Vita. It probably is better with headphones. I'm not entirely sure. Now, I, I tried uh, the Elder Scrolls uh, 5 Skyrim re uh, Special Edition. And that thing, that frame you see around the game, that was my record, screen recorder, which I left open, forgot it. So, yeah. I also didn't know the mappings for this game. And you can also see it running in the background on my monitor. So I was kinda... Wait, what key does what? And that's about it. This is a save that I started a few days ago. And I haven't played ever since. Really, I barely played rem the remastered Skyrim. So there we go, I figure out how to take my sword out. I didn't figure out how to attack, apparently it still is the right trigger. And that means that I can t turn around and aim at the same time, because I mapped that as the bottom right corner of the touchscreen. So I'm probably going to find a wolf soon, I believe. And I don't remember why I paused there. I, I was trying to figure out, yeah, I f was trying to figure out how to actually do it. And there we go, I killed the wolf successfully. But there we go. And for whatever reason, I believe this uh, was uh, was running at ultra. Not sure because it randomly set it to low. Not sure. I don't know. So yeah, that was it for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button below. Subscribe to my channel for more, and I'll see you next time. Bye.